Hi, I'm Pastor Melanie. Welcome to Pursuit Kids Corner. Today's lesson is about God's unfailing love. I trust that you have all the supplies that you will need for today. Now, as part of the lesson today, I have a bowl, which is a pie dish. I have a jug of water, which represents the situation and the circumstances. And I have pepper, which represents the things that come against us. Now, I'm gonna put a lot of pepper, because sometimes there's a lot of things that come against us. And the more pepper, the more powerful this introduction is gonna be. And the dish liquid represents God's love. And God's love is so powerful, it can help us to get through things and overcome all things. Now with my finger, I am going to not use God's love and I'm gonna try and get through these situations and these circumstances and the things that come against us. And you can see nothing is happening. But when I use God's love, which is the dish liquid that represents his love for us, you will see that it helps us to overcome because it knows the authority of Jesus and the love that he has, which is so powerful. So it helps the situation and the circumstance to be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, your promise scripture for your promise jar is Romans 8, 39 in the ERV translation. And it reads, nothing above us or nothing below us, nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And I'll read that again. Nothing above us or nothing below us Nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans 8, 39 in the ERV version. Now, if you're not standing to your feet already, stand to your feet and let's worship the Lord. Let's sing, let's clap, let's shout and let's raise our hands for who he is. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Let's worship him.
Now our lesson today is going to be in the book of Hosea and I have some fun facts about the book of Hosea. Now the first fun fact is the timeline that Hosea was around about was 750 BC. Now I know you guys know what BC means, it means before Christ. Now the second fun fact about Hosea is what was the theme of the book of Hosea? It is the unconditional love of God, the unfailing love of God. And the third one is how many chapters are in the book of Hosea? 14. There's 14 chapters in the book of Hosea. And the fourth thing is what does Hosea the name mean. What does Hosea the name mean? It means salvation. It means salvation. Now today's lesson is about God's unfailing love. Now what does unfailing love mean in the dictionary? Well it means not failing. It means not giving way not falling short of expectation, completely dependable and endless. Wow, completely dependable and endless. Now, what does unfailing love mean? I looked this up in 1 Corinthians 13, 7 in the NIV translation and it reads, always protects. What does unfailing love mean? Always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. And I'm going to read that again. Always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always preserves. And that's in 1 Corinthians 13, 7 in the NIV translation. Now, Hosea, in the book of Hosea, he was... God's living example. He was God's living example. Wow. Hosea was chosen by God to live out God's message of his unfailing love towards the children of Israel. God spoke and asked Hosea if he could marry an unfaithful woman called Goma. An unfaithful woman called Goma. She went and had three children, two sons and one daughter. Now, the first son, God asked Hosea to name him Jezreel. And Jezreel, which means in the Bible, kingdom of Israel is no longer. Wow. Kingdom of Israel is no longer. But do you know in the Hebrew language, Jezreel, it means God sows. God sows. Now, the second child that Goma had was a girl. And God asked Hosea to name her a specific name. And the name was Lo Ruhamai. Lo Ruhamai. Now, this means not having obtained mercy, not having obtained mercy. But do you know what? When you take that lo out of the name and just have rumai, then it means the one who has been spared, the one who has been spared. Now, Goma went on and had another son, as I said, two boys and one girl. And the second son, his name was Lo am I, lo am I. And that meant not my people, not my people. But in the next verse, in Hosea chapter 1, in verse 10, it says that the Israelites 
are people that are as much as as many as the sand on the seashore. As many as the sand on the seashore. And they cannot be numbered and they cannot be counted. And in that 10th verse in the book of Hosea chapter 1, it says, In the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, God says they will be called children of the living God. Children of the living God. Wow. God always makes a way where there seems to be no way and he always makes a way out as long as we ask for forgiveness, and which means repent, and go the opposite way. He will always make a way out for us to help us overcome all situations and circumstances. Hosea, being obedient to God, still pursued Gomer, even though she was unfaithful to him. Kids, you see here that Hosea was the example of God and how unfailing his love is towards the people of Israel and towards you and me. You see the example of Gomer. She kept being unfaithful to Hosea, her husband, just like the children of Israel were unfaithful to God. What does unfaithful to God mean? Well, I'll give you an example. It means putting other things first before God. It could be an iPad. It could be an iPhone. It could be computer games, sports, friendships, relationships. Just putting anything before God is being unfaithful to God. Hosea, just like God, who still pursues us even though we're unfaithful, he pursued Goma, his wife. He kept pursuing her. What does pursue mean? To chase after someone or something, to follow in pursuit, to continue, never giving up. Hosea paid her debt back to the men that she owed. He paid her debt back to the men that she owed. And he paid such a high price, such a high price, so that he could have a relationship with her and that she could come home for the rest of her days and be with him. So kids, just like Hosea, pursued Goma, we need to pursue God by putting God first in everything that we do, by praying to him every single day, praying to him, praying before we do things, even praying while we are doing things. And it's important to seek God's word, his Bible and what he says about us very important and who we are in him and then when we're reading the bible it helps us to grow in faith and when we receive that faith and we believe it we can speak it out and act upon it so then we can renew our mind and know who we are and do the plan that god has for us and for our lives You know, kids, God loves us so very much. He gave his only begotten son so that we could have everlasting life. God never gives up on us. He is always, always, always faithful with an unfailing love. Even when we fail, he does not. Thank goodness for Hosea who was a living example for God, showing us exactly how it needs to be done. Hopefully through the example of the Bible that you see in Hosea, this will help us to learn how important it is to live by example because you don't know who you will influence by your actions or your words and save them through the example that you have been in Christ and through Christ. Now, I have four questions for you as part of the lesson, and don't worry, I will help you. And if you remember, they are at the start of 
the lesson. So the first question is, where was or what was the timeline of the book of Isaiah? What was the timeline of the book of Hosea? It was 750 that's right, BC, 750 BC. I gave you that question. The second question is, what does the book of Hosea mean? What does the book of Hosea mean? That's right, unconditional love. God's unconditional love, unfailing love. And the third question is, how many chapters are in the book of Hosea? Hosea. How many chapters are in the book of Hosea? Do you remember? I'll give you a clue. There's one. That's right, 14. There's 14 chapters in the book of Hosea. And the fourth question, which is the last question, what does the name of Hosea mean? What does the name of Hosea mean? Do you remember? Salvation. Yes, you got it right. Salvation. How fantastic is that? Now, your promise scripture for your promise jar, as I said earlier on in the lesson, is Romans 8, 39 in the ERV translation. And it says, nothing above us or nothing below us, nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I'm going to read that again. Nothing above us, nothing below us, nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans 8, 39 in the ERV translation. And yes, you guessed it. This is the craft. So what I would, what I did was, and what I would like you to do is get a a4 piece of paper. Now you can get a poster paper, you can get any colour that you like. And I got a red texture and I got a red grey lead. And I did big letters of God's unfailing love in a love heart, drew a love heart. And then I coloured it in a little bit with texture and the red pencil. And I put the scripture here in the black. Now you can do it any way you like. You can use glitter pens, you can use glue sticks to stick things on. You can use stickers as well. You can put the love hearts all around in sm like small little love hearts around on the A4 piece of paper. And then you can put God's unfailing love and the scripture there. You can do it any which way you like. You can even put it down along the side, God's unfailing love, and then all little love hearts, and then the scripture in the middle. So I hope that you enjoy doing that little craft. Now let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you will help your children to realise how much you love them with an unfailing love. Even when they fail, you will never give up on them. You will give them the strength to help them choose to put the kingdom of God first in all that they do and give to the vision of the King, kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So enjoy your week remembering that God's love is unfailing and it helps us to get through and overcome all things for you and your family. Now, I would like you to take some time during this lockdown and spend some time with God through prayer. Get to know who he is and get to know who you are in the Bible, in his precious word. This month for Pursuit Church is Vision Month and we are taking time to pray over the things that we can further help the vision and that would be awesome for you to do as well. And also pray over giving a special offering this month as well so that you can lay up treasures in heaven for you and your family. Take care guys, we'll see you soon. Love you.